Hey guys, it's Jess from Marks and Motherhood, and today I'm going to be showing you what's inside of my hospital bag. So this one's a little bit different because we're also going to be doing fresh 48s and stuff, but each bag kind of serves its own purpose. So this is the bag, the only bag we take in when I'm first in labor. It's my labor bag. It has everything that I like to have on hand when I'm in labor. Then I have a separate baby bag just because... Like I said, we'll be doing fresh 48 photos, so I'm not quite sure what all I want to use yet, so I have a lot of options in here. And then lastly, once I'm in a room, this is my hospital bag. So I'm going to zoom in and show you each of these bags, but it is going to look a little different for everyone. But hopefully this gives you an idea of what you can put inside of yours. So if you're interested, let's take a look. All right, so first is my labor bag. This is Nazaria Petite in the plum color. And it has everything that I like to have on hand for labor without having to bring in all our other bags. So here on the side, even though it's a hospital, I have disinfectant spray, mostly because it's that time of year and I'm a little bit paranoid. Then I have a GGB coin purse and inside there I just have chapstick, bobby pins, rubber bands, that sort of thing in case I want to put my hair up while I'm in labor. Then I have icebreakers. Your mouth can kind of get a little dry so these are nice to have. And on this side, I don't have anything in the pocket. Then on the inside, I have this hospital gown. I didn't use it for my third. I didn't even use it for my second. I only used it for my first and I made it. And since this is my last, I figured why not wear it? And then I can um, toss it if I don't wanna worry about washing it and it gets really gross but then it's a little more comfortable than the ones they provide, but it's definitely not something you need. It's just something I threw in there because like I said, I made it and I only used it with my first. Then here, I have this pouch from Junko and added an itsy ritzy tag to it that says snacks because this has all of our snacks in it and by all of ours, I mean mostly mine and I gave my husband some m &Ms. So I have some m ms in here. I have some nuts. Almond butter bar, another almond butter bar, some pistachios, and then I also have some life savers inside of this itsy ritzy coin purse. Just again, because your mouth gets dry, so it's right there and you have it. But those are the snacks. Then here in a Logan and Lenore pouch, I have all of my makeup, which I'm probably not going to put on in labor. But it's also just so I have it and it fit the best in here than in other bags. So that's all of my makeup needs. Then in this back pocket I have my iPad mini that has just a bunch of stuff that I can watch or do or look at while I'm in labor. In this side pocket here I have some lotion as well as some hand sanitizer. Then in this side pocket here I have a charger for both my husband and I and then some headphones and this charger actually works for his iPhone and then also for my headphones so that part is nice but just so we have it because you never know what you'll be at when you're there but mine is a nice long one just because plugins aren't really accessible in the hospital. Then here in these two pockets I have some wet ones as well as a GGB medium set piece that has a few different nail things just because I tend to get like hang nails and different things and want to file and it's just nice to have those things on hand but that is all for my labor bag next is my baby bag this one is by Junko it's in the blush color with gold hardware and I decided to break it in by being my hospital bag and I'm excited to use it after I have her. So like I said, we're going to be doing Fresh 48, so I have a lot of stuff in here to choose from. You definitely don't need all this stuff. So I have a small itsy ritzy packing case in this front zippered pocket that just has a cute little itsy ritzy pacifier and some Ryan and Rose pacifiers and a clip. There are a ton of pockets here on the outside, but I don't have anything else in these pockets. Now for the inside. So I have a maybe blanket. This one I just like to keep her warm as we're heading out to the car or whatever, but it's also really soft. Gives a cute little pink floral background if we want to use that as well, but it's right here on the top. 
Then I have one of our Cuddle and Kind dolls, just to use for size reference, because we'll be doing those in her monthly photos. Then on the main part, I have two swaddles with bows. So this one from Baby Blings, this one from Copper Pearl. Then I have one from Lulu and Company. And then here in a large Itsy Ritzy packing case, I have all the little outfits for her. So I have a copper pearl knotted gown just right here on top with a baby bling bow. And then I have two options for a coming home outfit. There's this newborn outfit with one of the baby bling bows and this preemie unicorn outfit my daughter picked out, which probably won't fit her, but we're gonna bring it just in case. Then we have a copper pearl hat, the gloves that match the Lulu swaddle, and a pair of socks. But we have those for options as far as outfits inside of there and for the Fresh 48, so that's all for that. Then here I have a burp rag, which obviously we don't need, but in case we do go somewhere like my grandma's right afterwards, we do have it in case she spits up and stuff, but they'll provide diapers and all the other stuff that we'll need. So I threw that inside. Then I also have a change pad from June Coat, but it's a really nice size, easy to wipe clean, has some like kind of a little bit of cushion to it, unlike the Gather changing mats, but still folds up pretty compactly. So that is just there in that back zipper pocket, and then I don't have anything in this zipper pocket or the insulated pockets, I don't think, nope. So that's all for the baby bag. This is my hospital bag. I have a folder right here on top. Usually they give you a folder to keep all the paperwork in, but just in case I wanna keep a few things separate, I have my folder inside of here. Then I have all the thank you gifts for our nurses. I will link the printable and what we did for them down below so you guys can check it out. But we give them to the midwives, the nurses, doctors, whoever. This part, most of you are not going to need. My hospital is very unique in the sense that it's pro breastfeeding and only does formula in case of emergency. Usually when you deliver at a hospital, they'll provide formula if that's what you choose. That's what they did with my son. So I may just use a hand pump that they provide and do that for the 24, 48 hours that we're there. But just in case I want to have the formula, I am packing it. So I have the Infamil soft low nipples. I have some of the smaller Medela bottles just because they don't drink a ton in the beginning and plenty of them because you can't really wash them in the first little while. And then I have the ready to feed. Now you can't store these at the hospital so it's a little wasteful because like I said they barely drink anything in the beginning but I do want to have it just in case I decide to start formula feeding a little bit sooner. Then on this side, I have the discreet underwear, the adult diapers, whatever you wanna call them. Everyone always says just to use the mesh underwear, but you, this is just so much more comfortable. I cannot go back to using the mesh underwear after this. They're just a lot easier to change. They're a lot more comfortable to wear. You just toss them in the trash, it's not that hard to use, so I put quite a few in here. I might actually throw in a couple more. Then I have the letter board for the announcement. These are random stats, obviously, 2017. <laughs> but I have the name that we've picked out in this box. Then here I have just some gym shorts and clothing for my husband. I have a robe and a spaghetti strap dress. I just found that the most comfortable because sometimes I'm hot, sometimes I'm cold. So it was easy to have that or throw a robe on over it. I have my dwell in slumber dress and then my coming home outfit. Just a big comfy shirt, tank top, and some sweatpants. Then I have a pair of socks for my husband. On this side, I have some shower shoes. I got these for like two bucks at Target. I have two pairs of fuzzy socks that have the non-slip, which is really important when you're in the hospital. They're just really nice to have slip on in case you're colder or wanna walk around. And then I have 
these slippers that I also got from Target. Then here in these pockets are all of my toiletry type things. This is everything I need if I'm going to take a shower, face wash, small razor, the shampoo and conditioner, different things like that. I have dry shampoo and some hair oil and a brush. Then this is just the basic toiletry stuff if I'm not taking a shower, toothpaste, deodorant, contacts, makeup remover, tooth and I said toothpaste, toothbrushes, that sort of thing. So I can just grab that instead of bringing everything in. Then I have a trash bag for dirty clothes, a towel for my hair. I just use the towel they have to dry off when I get there, but I do like having one for my hair. The letters to customize our board. And lastly, a straightener. Now, normally I wouldn't bring a straightener, but I am this time, like I said, because we're doing the Fresh 48. So in case I want to straighten parts of my hair, I have that there. So that's all for what's inside of my hospital bag. All right, guys, so that is all for what's inside of my hospital bags. I'm not going to be doing a ton more video content until a while after I have the baby just because the newborn stage is my favorite and I want to soak up all that time since this is our last. But if you follow me on Instagram, you will see updates on recovery, my delivery, formula feeding, and all that stuff. So I will link my Instagram down below. That one's just a lot easier to update you guys on and I will try to do a few community posts here, but we'll see what happens. If there's anything I missed that you guys loved having in your bag, just comment down below and let me know. I know I myself enjoy hearing what people like to have inside of their bags and then other people just enjoy reading the comments and seeing how everyone's a little bit different because like I said, it looks a little bit different what makes everyone comfortable inside of the hospital. But that is all for me personally and if you guys have any other questions, you can always comment down below or DM me on Instagram and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.